The UN Climate Conference in Baku has taken a closer look at the One Health approach, a concept that tackles the interconnected challenges of human, animal and environmental health. At a high-level roundtable, experts from global organizations emphasize the urgent need for collaboration to address the climate change, food security and public health risks. The One Health approach was the topic of a roundtable at the continuation of United Nations Climate Conference in Baku. The concept treats problems of people, animals and the environment, not separately, but as a whole. We are all connected. We cannot be like separate. It's breaking the silos between those sectors. Climate change and its impact on environment have concrete tell signs and provide hard numbers, the World Health Organization says. It affects how we live our lives, the food we eat, the water we drink. In, in the European region, we have over 175,000 people that lose their lives just from heat, from heat waves. So that's pretty serious if you think about it. On air pollution, so that's poor air quality, we lose half a million lives every year. Food safety and human health were among the hot topics of the talks. It is important that we understand our farmers, our food producers, if they are affected by climate change, it means they cannot invest sufficiently in diversity of food, in, uh, in, um, uh, in uh, having sufficient income. They cannot uh, invest in protection of water, soil and um, uh, sustainable practices. The host country, Azerbaijan, introduced its own strategic plan for One Health at the event. And we're very proud to see here in Azerbaijan that this One Health approach has been adopted. It has been announced by the government during the COP, creating this incredible moment to put health and climate together. And that's really, really important because I think that's going to be a legacy of this COP to the world. The meeting also reflected the need for intersectoral cooperation in issues such as antimicrobial resistance, early detection of zoonotic diseases and the need for a unified platform for information exchange.